skyrocketed my own personal skill and ability. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be doing a little Vlogmas recap. It's really cloudy, so the lighting keeps changing, so don't mind that. As promised, I'm doing a Vlogmas recap. I did Vlogmas in December. These are my analytics for after December, so if you're wondering if it's worth it for you, if you're a small lure YouTuber, creator, or you just started YouTube and you wanna do Vlogmas, do you think it's gonna be worth it for your channel? Well, I'm going to show you my analytics, give you some pros and cons, a couple tips, and my overall thoughts. In the month of December, I made $61.39. I gained 94 subscribers. I lost 34 subscribers. I got just about 11,000 views. I had 204.5 thousand impressions, so that's that many people saw my one of my thumbnails, one of my videos, um, doesn't mean necessarily that they clicked it, but they it showed up somewhere on their YouTube app. I do wanna mention my top earning videos for December were actually older videos. They weren't even the videos that I was posting in December. All that revenue, most of, well, most of the revenue and most of the views were from older videos. Don't give up on your older videos because sometimes, <laughs> most of the time actually, they pick up a long time like later. YouTube is a long game, okay? It's not a short game. With that being said though, a lot of my views and subscribers gained were from YouTube Shorts. If you are starting a YouTube channel, you gotta go with the YouTube Shorts. They're not my most favorite type of content to make, but I'm starting to figure out my content style with YouTube Shorts now. So, it's just something that we have to do, especially if we're uh, newer or smaller YouTubers. It's actually a really great opportunity to grow your channel right now. Would I recommend doing Vlogmas for new YouTubers? I would say yes. Not so much because it's going to blow your channel up. <laughs> I think I learned so much during Vlogmas that I would recommend yes because what we learned through that is way more valuable than if our channel like goes viral. I don't know about you guys, but when I first started YouTube, <laughs> I would like second guess my videos. I would think that I need to edit them better, that I could have, you know, it's like perfectionism, like I wanted it to be perfect, um, but that's actually not true. <laughs> um, someone from the Think Media like crew says that if a video is 70% acceptable to you, it's gonna be posted because you can analyze the video over and over and over again. It's never gonna be perfect to you. Well, when you're doing Vlogmas, if you don't know what Vlogmas is, is you do a video a day leading up to Christmas. Some people do till Christmas Eve or the whole month of December, whatever you decide uh, every single day. So that's, uh, you're filming and editing and uploading every single day. That's a lot of filming and editing and uploading. So when you're filming, you can't really go back and film again. So what you film is what you got. So not only does that mean that you can't second guess all of your editing, but you can't go back and refilm. So you you have to work with what you film, okay? <laughs> and you gotta just edit it and post it um, if you're gonna complete Vlogmas, because the other option is to give up, which I do not recommend doing. Just keep going through. Which also, by the way, I had so much fun during Vlogmas. I was like editing, filming, editing, filming, ed uploading. and the whole month like flew by and I was like wow I really do think I love YouTube I think it'd also be a good test for you to see if you actually like doing YouTube or like making YouTube videos because um, it's work it's like a hustle you gotta really like it to do it um, no matter how much you want to make money if you want to make money you have to really like the craft itself or be like semi interested in it um, to do it I think personally whether it's like you just really like the filming aspect and like in the future you get an editor but you're like really into the filming or you really like filming and editing or you know whatever but you have to be like really interested in some part of it <laughs> um to do it but anyways it was so much fun but with that you can't really like second guessing your clips or your audio or anything like you got to just work with what you got like one day i experimented and tried to like take my mic off i didn't like the audio but the video still had to go up so whatever so with that, I wrote down, I had, I got really good at editing quickly. Um, I wouldn't say I'm like the best editor, but I got good at editing my videos quickly. <laughs> um, remembering to film, because there's so many times when I'm vlogging, then I forget to continue to film. Um, and then I don't end up posting the vlog because I forgot to keep filming or like, 
remembering to film the shots that I want because when you're editing so much, you're like, okay, next time I film, I want to make sure I get a shot doing this or a close up this or B roll doing this. So when you're hustling through Vlogmas, like you, re I, I started to remember, oh yeah, I need to remember to get this shot when I'm doing this tomorrow. Not overthinking what I'm saying, being more mindful of what I'm saying, being more mindful of what I'm saying <laughs> and speaking because if I'm saying, um, mm, mm, like, 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 uh, I'm gonna have to edit all of that out. So <laughs> I try to be a little more mindful of what I'm actually saying. Better shots when I'm filming. Filming so it's easier to, f to edit, which is something I didn't really think about before, but there's a way I learned to film the clips so they're easier to edit, which is way better. So I'm glad I learned that. Better thumbnails, faster thumbnails, uh, better titles. I mean, I think <laughs> um, experimenting with titles, especially if you're like a smaller channel, like not a lot of people are watching. Like if the people that are watching, they probably really like you. So just like experiment because they're going to watch your video anyway because they just like adore you. Um, so they don't really care what you title your video. So experiment with your titles, your thumbnails. That's the time to like figure it out. And then with that, it's really cool to see like a month analysis of like, oh, this thumbnail probably did better, got better click through rate, like what was going on in this video. I'm not gonna go through and analyze every video in this video. I just wanna give like an overall. But I also got better at time management. I also learned I could probably do like three videos a week because I was cranking out six videos a week, which by the way, for my own schedule, I took Sundays off. So I was doing Monday through Friday Vlogmas. I would film Sundays if I wanted to and then just make it like a together Saturday, Sunday Vlogmas for upload on Monday. After all of that, most importantly, I feel like I got to connect with my audience more and like they maybe got to get to know me better because they're, I'm vlogging every day. So you kind of like get to see like the mundane, what I'm really doing. Like, I feel like you really get to see like it. There was times like when I was having a bad day, you can't really like hide that. So I feel like people get to see that like you're also human and you're not just like always like happy and bubbly and giving, great informa like informational videos or like whatever it is you do on your channel. It's like, oh, you're like a real person. Like you're struggling. You're having to cook dinner every every day. <laughs> you go grocery shopping. Like you're, you, you keep skipping the gym or whatever it is. So I think like even if you have a bigger channel and you don't do Vlogmas, like you don't do vlogs, you do a different type of content. Like you can either, I saw this makeup channel. I can't remember the name. Um, they did like a vlogmas, but it was like all makeup related videos So you can keep with the theme or you could just do vlogs anyway and just like get to connect with your viewers For the month and then just like get back to your regular videos If your audience is a, you know for it You can always pull them in your community tab and see what they want from you The cons that I have for this is that life happens So if you're having a bad day and you're doing vlogmas, you kind of just have to keep vlogging so for that, I have a tip. I would recommend planning out a couple videos that are like more sit down videos or like a routine or like have like a kind of like an easier day, like a morning routine. So then you can film your morning routine and then you don't have to film the rest of the day or like, you know, like for example, I was having a bad day the day I filmed my night routine. I tried to film something and I was just like in such a bad mood because life happens. I'm a person and I just was like, I'm not going to film today. I'm going to skip vlogmas. And I was like, no, Jasmine, you prepared for this. So I did my nighttime routine. And I think I even did like a voiceover because I was just like so grumpy. Like I didn't want to like you would be able to tell. And I want to like rub that off on everyone. Um, but just have like a couple of those videos ready. Or like maybe like prepare like a Q&A or something that's like super easy or like short so you're not like vlogging all day when you're having a bad day. So that's the only con is that like you don't know what's going to happen. So, you know, like sometimes life happens and you just have a really hard day or something and it's not the best to film <laughs> during that. Okay, so I have a couple tips if you're doing Vlogmas. I would make a schedule. I had a calendar with all of the titles and like the video ideas that I wanted to do the, the the day I wanted that video to upload. And then I had a separate calendar with the the day that I had to film that video because like your film day one and then it goes up technically day two, right? So I, I made two separate calendars to kind of keep that organized in my mind. So like when I was filming, I'm like, what am I filming today? Or, and then when I was uploading, it's like, okay, I'm uploading this today and like confirming that and you can change it throughout the month, but I would I had the whole month planned out. Um, obviously, you can change things around and move them around. 
and I did that really easily on a calendar on Canva and that was like a lifesaver. <laughs> I looked at it every single day. It was like my rock. Like that was, I don't think I could have finished Vlogmas without that calendar. So I would definitely do that. And then I also had a Word document with I, like more than the days of vlogging I was gonna do with ideas and then I had each day kind of like loosely planned or like giving myself ideas like remember to film this remember to film doing your hair remember to get your coffee shot um, for every single day so if I was like for some reason in a rut that day or I couldn't like get my thoughts straight I could go back to that word document and like get a little outline for the day and I had like all the thinking part of it already done like in November, I was ready to go so that I knew that in the chaos of filming, edit, like I, I would edit and have a schedule. So like I would edit all morning and upload in the morning by like 9 a.m. I would upload. I was up by like, I wake up at 5.30 to make lunch and breakfast for my husband. So like after he leaves, I would just start editing and have the video up go by nine and then I would film for the rest of the day. So it worked out, like I would get a schedule of something that you can do like that. Those would be my tips. I think you need to plan it out, definitely have it all planned out in November, have a schedule ready. And then it's like go time, December 1st. <laughs> Overall, Vlogmas didn't like make my channel skyrocket in numbers or anything, but I feel, I like had so much fun. It skyrocketed my own personal skill and ability and also like my own personal like belief in myself like I was so proud of myself and I, it just like was so eye-opening to me that like wow I really love doing this because <laughs> I even did an extra day because I was just like in la la land like filming editing uploading <laughs> like all over again and it was just so much fun so I learned a lot I learned a lot and I feel like I connected with my subscribers which is amazing and like the whole point <laughs> so i think it's worth it if you're growing a channel do it and see and like just see if it's something like you really enjoy like i just think it'll be really eye-opening um as an experience and it's just a lot of fun to like be with your favorite youtuber on vlogmas like during christmas and the holidays and see what they're up to and what they're doing oh my gosh i feel like the lighting just got way better so should i refilm this See, you can't do that in Vlogmas, so I'm not gonna refilm this. Oh my God, the lighting got way better. Oh, dang it. Whatever, I'm already, I'm gonna rock with this, it's fine. So tell me, what, you, what do you think? Do you think Vlogmas is worth it for smaller YouTubers? Yeah, I hope this was uh, helpful for you guys, the people that were asking for me to do a Vlogmas recap after December and see my December analytics. And I will see you guys in a different video.